Hello children, I would like to welcome each and every one to the EVS class. Children, we have already started with a new lesson and the name of the lesson is Caring for Plants and Animals. Caring for Plants and Animals and the lesson number is 8. So, we, are, we have already started in our previous class. We have learned about the learning outcome. That means what are the things you are going to learn from this chapter. So let us have a quick recap of what we are, what we have, uh, what we are going to learn from this lesson. So number one, we will know about the learn about plants and animals around us. We can learn. We'll collect information about the different plants and animals around us. We see. Then the th second thing is that to learn to take care of plants and animals. How can we protect or take care of both plants and animals? So let us begin the class children. For that, please take out your textbook, page number 41, lesson number 8. So let us start. Caring for plants and animals. We have learned about the different places in our surrounding, isn't it children? In our previous class, lesson 7, we have learned about the different places, public places as well as the service places. We have learned. Now let us discuss the plants and animals we find in our surrounding. Now let, we are going to discuss about the different plants and animals found in our surrounding. That means where we stay in our society. We find different types of plants around us, yes, isn't it or not children? Wherever you see there are greenery, we can see different types of plants around us. Some big, small, medium, okay. We see plants in gardens and most of you, you have your garden, own garden where you plant flowers, trees, park also you can see different kind of plants and trees and along roadside also children when you move from one place to another you can see in the roadsides in the divider they have arranged beautiful trees and flowers okay some people also keep plants inside their home and those who keep plants inside the home is that plants are called indoor plants that are only meant for inside the house indoor plant okay and most of you might have, your parents might have hobby also of gardening or planting. Kitchen garden also they can do or they can decorate their home by decorating indoor plant inside their room. It feels great children. Now people, farmers also grow crop, some plants as crops in the field. Children, do you know from where we get crops? Do we grow crops children? No, the answer is no. Who grow them? The farmers, they are staying in villages and they grow crops for us and we get as wheat and rice. For example, wheat and rice and so on. We can also find many different plants in the forest. And if you have moved to forest children, you'll find lots of different varieties of plants in the forest. Okay, you'll find few medicinal plants also very important because it helps in medicines, we prepare medicines for it and plants gives us many things, fruits, medicine, wood, timber, then uh, we, we get uh, the most important thing is that the plant gives us oxygen that is most important and so that we have to grow more and more plants, we should not cut trees. Now let us start. Plants in a garden. So I have already said in a garden you can plant different varieties of flowers and trees. Then plants inside the house. Some of you have hobbies of planting. So you can decorate your house also. Roadside plant you can see both while you move from one place to another you can see in the road. Roadside there are different types of trees and plants and flowers also. Then plants in the field that means for the farmers they grow crops for us. Wheat, rice, sugar cane, bajra, mage. Okay, these are the things that farmers grow and we get. Then forest trees, when you visit your forest, you'll see big, big trees there, children. Okay, so and the most important thing is that we should not cut for trees of the forest, especially because they are the homes of birds and animals. Okay, birds and animals take shelter there. We also see different types of animals around us. 
children we have learned about the plants that we can see plants in our own garden we can decorate it in our home as indoor plant then roadside also we see different kinds of plants and trees then we have learned also the that farmers grow crop for us like wheat sugar cane rice bajra millet then oil seeds that sunflower mustard okay then forest trees in forest also there are big big trees and it provides home for the animals and birds and now coming to the animals part we also see different types of animals around us isn't it children we see different types of animals and even we have at, a, at our home also as a pet animal some might have pet animal dog cat bird or fish also some are found on the street in street also you'll find some street dogs or cows for example dogs cats and cattles some animals can be seen at zoo most of you like to visit zoo isn't it children you can see different varieties of animals there for example monkeys bear bear and so on you'll find you'll see in our state zoo if you went children you'll find the different kinds of animals you will find different varieties of animals like monkey will be there crocodile elephant giraffe lion tiger leopard okay where you will find different kinds of birds there now animals like the frog fish and duck are seen in and around lake and pond so you can find they are they are the water animals and they will stay near lake and ponds so we often see birds and squirrels also we see birds and squirrels isn't it children you can see the birds early in the morning it flies from one place to another then squirrels also then cows goat and buffaloes are some animals that we see on farms or fields now cows and buffaloes are used for farming isn't it children then it also goat you can see then you will find that cows gives us milk we get the meat from goat also then some animals are found in forests or jungles that means some animals also live in jungles and forests what are they those are elephant lion tiger fox jackal wolf and so on we have varieties of animal okay children now let us read the yellow color part we find different types of plants and animals in our in our surrounding they are useful to us in many ways we should not harm them we should not harm them children because they are useful to us and we should try to take care of it in our next class we are going to learn more about plants and animals how they help us but before i wind up my class what are the things i have discussed today let us have a look children we have discussed about the plants so in plants you can see in your own garden itself you can see different types of flowers trees the plants variety of it then you, uh, if you can go if you went to the park also you will see different types of plants and trees and flowers and if you have visited nurseries that means we Uh, flowers are kept a uh, plants are kept you can see children it's very it is very beautiful plants in a house we use as a decorative piece also to decorate our house then roadside plant uh, that means that we see while we move from one place to another we see the roadside trees or plants or flowers then plants in the field that is that farmers grow for us then forest trees that are the big big forest <clears throat> you will find trees where it is the most important thing is that that animals and birds take their shelter there and moreover we have learned about the di different types of animals we see in and around us we see street street animals also we have pet animals we have domesticated animal we have wild animals we have aquatic animal that means those live in la uh, water okay and we have uh, seen that examples of birds squirrels okay these are the things we have learned in today's class children now i would like to wind up my class here thank you and have a nice day ahead